Oh, 34. That's no, a good 30, number, 34. Yeah. 34. That's a good okay. number. You're number 34? Yeah. You yeah. said he just passed is. you last year. Of course he is talking about you was That's close. Like, you ain't close. He didn't just pass you last year. I ain't close. I knew he passed me recently. No, you said that. That ain't recent. 34. Not 34. Hey, oh, my you. God. You know, you 34. You were scrub. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, ready go. Oh, hey, now see, <laughs> Key, <laughs> top seventy-five. Fire Kennedy the Jet. What? <laughs> He's kidding. Ernie called me a scrub. <laughs> no, you are a scorer. I'm a, I'm a playmaker. That's wrong. He, you're 29th. You're not 34th. <laughs> oh, I'm 29th. Yeah, I'm a playmaker. Uh, I would, they move me down to 34. <laughs> yeah, even in the top 20. <laughs> All right, <laughs> you're right, Keith. Let's they made move you top on. 75. Uh, you talk about making a good first impression. Damian Lillard, 11 years of Blazer, now a buck, made his Milwaukee debut on Thursday night. And while he's gone from the Pacific time zone to the Central, Dame time knows no boundaries. Sixers and Bucks play in their season openers tonight. We go to the highlights by Sir Form on the mean streets of Milwaukee. And uh, Joel Embiid, no James Harden on that Philadelphia side. And there is Dame. His first bucket wearing the green of Milwaukee. Tyrese Maxey. Mm. Off balance. I'm and a big goes. Tyrese Maxey fan, man. Oh, watch this spin. There you go. What triple team, Ernie? <laughs> Quadruple team almost. And so now Dame somehow four point play. That happened. Three times, they only gave him the three-point play one time. This is part of a 23 to six. Oh, block that, Joe. Can't get that. They gave Milwaukee a 19-point lead in the first half. No way. Uh. Dame had 21 in the first half. Milwaukee's lead, though, was cut to nine by halftime. And then Philadelphia kept chipping away. Embiid drains a three. Oh, give, me that. give me that. Give me that. Don't chase him. Yeah, give me that. Six point game, and then Axie from way out. Oh, oh. man. He, he got a really, really bright, bright future. Well, they right, cut it right, right, right now. Yeah. But they were down by three going to the fourth quarter. to buy Harris for three. Oh, get back to him. Oh, that's a dunk. Oh, indeed, with the block. And on the other end, Kelly Oubre Jr. Played great tonight. Oh, one more. Oh, that's good. Uh. In his debut with the Sixers, oh, he scores up. 27 off the bench. Philadelphia would lead by eight, and then Milwaukee goes 19 to two on him. Way to take your time. Oh, give me that. Uh, look, oh, that's trouble, ain't it? Well, here's what the what the officials ruled. They ruled he just said. lost the ball. He had just lost the ball. It wasn't a shot. He just lost control well, that's, of the that's, ball. That, so if it's a ball of the hand, then you can so you can just run up the court doing yeah, that. Exactly. That's, that's, that's a travel. Right. Stop it. That's a travel. You can just grab the rebound and just walk up the court doing it. Oh, I lost it. Got him. 23 and 13 on the night for Giannis. Nick Nurse perplexed. And then Dame with the contact three-point play they led by nine with three under three minutes to go philadelphia oh, comes back at him again that cut the lead to two like the way he stepped into that man. but it is game time is it oh. not kenny Bye -bye. game time late three-pointer made it a one point uh 39 Ooh, game 118 to 117 there's your final score. Lillard going for 39 on 9 out of 20, 4 out of 12 from deep, and went 17 for 17 from the stripe. Giannis 23 and 13. Chris Middleton, 6 points on 2 of 5 shooting for the Bucks, who win their opener by 1. After the game, Chris Haynes with Dane. Dane, your debut with the Bucks, 39 points, 14 at fourth quarter. How did you feel first time playing with a different team? Uh, I mean, honestly, I felt a little tired. You know, it was a long summer for me. I didn't get to do my normal buildup, but, uh, you know, I, I know as good as anybody that down the stretch is a mental game. Giannis is handling it, and he like, come get it. You know, this is what you do. And when you got that type of uh, encouragement from your team, especially a new team, all it does is make you you more comfortable to, to be who you are. For a player of that caliber to say that, what what did that mean to you when he shared that with you? 
Uh, I think it's just the ultimate respect. Uh, I said it before, you know, Giannis is the most dominant player in the world. For him to have the accolades and to be who he is and to be able to say something like that, um, it, I think it makes it even more telling why I fit perfectly with a guy like that and uh, hopefully we have a lot of success together. I think he was unbelievable today and um, I saw something up in the screen, the most points in a season debut from uh, a player. It says a lot about him and a lot about his character and a lot about what he brings uh, to the table. I'm very excited, the team is very excited to kind of go through the season with him. We want him to be Dame, we want Giannis to be Giannis. Uh, and those guys are proven. And you can see they, they complement each other out there. They really do. It just it makes me look great as a coach. I'm the smartest guy in the world right now. How about that debut? Um, most points with your new team. Kyrie had 50 for the Nets. Look at Kiki Vandeweghe on that list with Wilt. And there's Dame with his 39 tonight after uh, yeah, 37 with the... in Portland. Yeah, yeah, my first game. Charles, you're all over the place. I mean, you're on all I, these graphics. I had a good run, brother. <laughs> yes, yes, you, yes, you <laughs> did. Um, what, are, what are you looking at when you look at this Milwaukee team? And again, Chris Middleton, they're easing him back in, only played 16 minutes well, tonight. Well, I, I think that when you're used to having a ball, it's going to be, I think the biggest adjustment is going to have to be Giannis. Because he normally brings the ball up the court, which I've always thought as great as he was, was a detriment at time. Because I think if he get on the wing, he could get another six to eight to ten points a game finishing dunk instead of going against the wall, just coming from the wing. But uh, and now the biggest adjustment is going to be Chris Middleton. And uh, he's probably going to have to make the biggest sacrifice. He's going to have to be content. Some nights he ain't going to get... 10, he gonna get 10 to 15 shots or less when he normally would get 15 to 20. So he's gonna have to make the biggest adjustment. But they're gonna be winning and that's all that matters. You got, you got Giannis who's probably the most unselfish superstar we have in this league. Hardest working guy. You got Dame who wants to win. Uh, like I say, the key is gonna be the coach. Um, he is the one who's going to, because he's got to, he got to be the coach. You know, a lot of guys like, hey, I got two, two great, great players, but the coach to me, he has to always let the, like, hey, this is how we're going to do things. How much attention are you paying to FGAs uh, on this team? I mean, uh, when you, uh, are you going to look at a box and see, listen, how many shots did Giannis get? How many did Lillard get? As a fan or as I, if I was a Milwaukee Buck? If I'm a well, Milwaukee well, Buck, I'm not paying attention to none of that. Because the only time that they're going to view us and think that we played well is if we won, period. doesn't matter because you can have an – the difference when you're on a winning team, you can have an, imp an impactful 11 points. You can have an impactful 11. You're on a bad team, 11 points don't mean anything. So when you're on a great team, your points are impactful because you're hitting big shots in big moments. And so I wouldn't, I wouldn't even pay attention to a box. And when you play with another guy, you have to let that guy be the guy. Now, it'll be a mistake to try to change Dame. Dame is who he is. He takes a lot of shots, makes a lot of shots. But, you know, Giannis did a great job of saying, hey, go ahead and get yours. Because Giannis is that player he's going to get it. So you asked a question about looking at field goal attempts. The main two guys going to get most of the shots. Some nights Dame going to be the leading scorer. Some nights Giannis going to be the leading scorer. doesn't matter as long as we're winning. It's going to be a new said. wall yeah, that's he, that he and, built there, too. Uh, a uh, wall to stop Dame as Lillard. I, as I said, Chris Milliton's is really going to be the key because it's hard for a guy who's been an all-star, who's a really good player. He's he like, hey, I'm not going to get shots. And he's going to have to say, okay, I'm going to have to play defense. I'm going to have to rebound. But one out of five nights, I'm going to get 25 to 30. That's probably the most he's going to get one out of five games. He's going to get 30. But winning's going to cure all of that. And that's the key. Meantime, Philadelphia drops their opener. James Harden not in Milwaukee. Um, we'll see what well, the Sixers decide. Me and Kenny were talking about him back. He's got to be gone by Sunday. He's got to. He can't come back. You know, uh, number one, I don't think the Philadelphia fans would let him come back. He's burned. Uh, you know, you know, and, and people say, like, well, he's mad at Darren Mari. Joel, Joel Embiid ain't got nothing to do with that. Maxie ain't got nothing to do with that. 
uh, Tobias Harris got nothing to do with that. He's hurting the team. Nobody cares who the general manager is, Ernie, on an NBA team. Ask Kenny, ask Shaq. Like, yo, man, we, we, we here to play. We're here to win. The biggest loser in all this is probably Joel. Because he had to go through the Simmons fiasco. And remember the Simmons fiasco. Yeah. Everybody was saying, Daryl Morey, do something, do something. And he took his time. And, it ba- and it's backfired yeah. on him. Yeah, so you think you think he's got to make a move he now? Got to. He can't come back, Ernie. Well, the guy has one year left on his deal. James and he ain't going to get what he wants so, for him. So, like, even if he comes back, he's only there for one year. So your future of your team is not together. The second thing is, you've already gone through it. So you, it, it seems like if you would learn that it wasn't productive for the, that season, it wasn't productive the whole year with Ben Simmons and, and, with, with, and when, with the trade. So you have to make a move. Like, and there's no... But you know he's not going to give him away. He got to. Just you know, give him away. He, he, he's only going to get 50 to 75 cents on the dollar, Ernie. James Harden has been a hell of a player. He got one year left on his deal. That team who trades for him only going to have him for one year. I'm not giving you a ton of stuff for a guy who's going to be here for one year. But the biggest problem they got in today's environment, the players have so much power and they can demand to be treated. The Sixers are on thin ice right now with their MVP. Because if I'm Joel Embiid, I'm like, yo, man, I went through the same bit. First of all, it started with you guys chose between Jimmy Butler and Ben Simmons. Y'all chose that now. Then I had to go through the Simmons thing. Now I'm in the middle of my prime. I'm an MVP. I've been second two years in a row and I won one. And I got to deal with this noise. There's no doubt in my mind, Joel MB is going to say, hey, you know what? No hard feelings. I got to go. Sixers in Toronto Saturday, home opener Sunday against Portland. And you don't think, if it were up to you, James Harden would not be on the floor? No, not at all. We shall see. Uh, Philadelphia falls to Milwaukee, 118 to 117 tonight in that uh, 39-point effort by Dame Lillard. <laughs> <laughs> I was a playmaker. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't count stats. Only, oh, thank you, brother. Thank I'm, you. I'm two and oh. Four hey, the man, went, went, oh. man did some research. That's my record. My man, my man went and did some research. Hey, there's a there's four basketball.